Two of our most versatile products are the universal adhesives Rania Colde Cologne and Rania Multicore. Why present them both in the same video? Very simple, because they do essentially the same thing, just Multicore does it quicker, Colde Cologne does it a little slower. Why have a quick and a slow version? Um, Multicore was developed for the while you wait repair concept, whereas Call de Cologne was developed for the classic shoe repair where you have a bit more time, but you might also need a little more time because the work is organized in a different way, so you have a longer open time. That's the main difference between the two. Multicall has a drying time of 3 to 15 minutes, minimum wait time 3 minutes, maximum open time 15 minutes. After that, you need to reactivate, um, whereas Call de Cologne has a drying time, minimum drying time of 5 minutes and a cold open time of 30 minutes or even up to 45 minutes on certain materials such as vinyl or PVC. Um, both of them are the only contact adhesives that not only bond all the other materials around the shoe but also plasticized PVC. Um, again, neoprene adhesives, grafted neoprene or polychloroprene adhesives, not plastic adhesives. That's the difference. So you have all the working advantages, the versatility of a neoprene-based contact cement, high-tech, uh, easy application, and uh, also working on EVA. This is important for orthopedic buildups. But you can bond PVC and you can bond thermoplastic rubber with the appropriate primer, which is our Reagol Primer for TR, the yellow label primer. Um, <clears throat> Both adhesives are completely free of toluene and MEK, so less of a health risk than many of the old-fashioned contact cements still on many markets worldwide. Um, as I said, very versatile. Basically what you have to take care of is that you have sufficient adhesive on both sides of materials, so porous materials should be coated twice. Um, other than that, very simple to use. You can combine it with our Renia hardener, like you can all our adhesives for even greater heat resistance, for even greater resistance to oil, to fat, to all sorts of environmental influences. But these two adhesives already have a very great resistance to these built in, even without the, uh, the cross linker. Um, using it with Reagol is very simple as well. Make sure that the TR is clean. Make sure you grind it. You have to do that anyway if you're working on a worn shoe from the outsole down. Um, <clears throat> if you apply a uh, new unit sole to a shoe upper, you don't need to grind, you just apply the rear wall, wait 15 minutes, very important, and then apply either one and wait for the appropriate drying time. No difference there. Um, the reason why this works, rear wall does not work with most classic neoprene based contact adhesives, not even ours. Um, there are chemical differences here which make them a little bit more like a plastics adhesive chemically, so they can interact with Reagol in the right way in order to make a great bond. So this is the prescribed way, the actual way, the way that the shoe industry does it to reliably bond thermoplastic rubber. On TPU, also usually a very complicated material to bond, thermoplastic polyurethane. You find this uh, very often as a shell around soft polyurethane soling materials. You can even find this nowadays as, so as uh, sheet soling materials or as finished uh, sheet soles on certain shoes. Um, the uh, point there is to either use arsenic total plastics adhesive, which is an issue on EVA. So if you want to do a build up on such a shoe, it will require some doing, or you could use just use either one of them, call the Cologne or Multicol, and they will also deliver a great bond on TPU. Polyurethane, same, same deal. Um, I would just recommend using our primer for polyurethane to reinforce that spongy and soft material to make sure that it actually stands up to the strain, to the abuse that it's going to suffer in a shoe sole. They both dry clear. Another advantage that they have over many old-fashioned contact cements, you won't get a brown or, or dark yellow glue line. Um, so all in all, very well suited for anything in shoe repair, anything in shoe making, and also in shoe modification.
because that is where you encounter all these different material combinations and they're all covered with these two products.